All right, so everybody is talking a lot about the silver going up, going uh, crazy. But the fact of the matter is, Big Brother just woke up. Alright, so guys, welcome back. Yes, new name, same guy, SB. I am uh, Silver Bridges, but I changed the name to Clean Money just so you guys know. I know there's some confusion out there. Just wanted to clear it up one more time. Yes, I did change it because I wanted to encompass all of the precious metals that I like to buy instead of just silver. I hope that helps. Uh, I just needed to, to make a change. That's all, guys. So yeah, in this video, guys, talking about silver, a lot of people are talking about it, but man, you know, it's just a lot of people are just so excited about it. And, and it, it's great. You know, it, it really is. It's I, I think it is just excellent because it, it brings more people in. Right. So it it makes all of our stacks, the ones who stacked before, it makes us all a little bit more profitable. You know what I mean? But a lot of people, you know, gold was down. It I think I want to say it dropped into the 1600s. But, I mean, you couldn't get it at that price. But I want to say it dropped at that that point, you know, and it was prime opportunity to to jump in and get some. You know, everybody was just like fumoing out on on silver, and now old big brother he he's he's awake, he's awake, and uh, I know a lot of people they don't like doing the TA side, the technical analysis. You know, I mean, I, I get it, you know, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I mean, it, it just really, you know, it just depends. And this time, yeah, there was a couple weeks ago where there was a double bottom. If you guys don't know what a double bottom means, it means that gold had slipped down and then it went back up and then it went back down and touched that same exact point and then it went back up, creating uh, essentially a W. So anytime you see that in, in, in inside of any type, type of uh, technical analysis, th that usually indicates that it's about to go on a bull run. So. It doesn't always pan out, guys. It's just a way of looking at things and trying to make a better judgment call. So, yeah, that's what I think what might happen. I know there's people that disagree with me, but the signs are there. You know, if you want to look at it, at it that way, that's fine. If you don't, I, I understand, too. But but I know a lot of people, they've been, you know, loading up on silver, man. And and I get it. I get it. It's, it's fun to stack it. You know, it's fun. But right now... Uh, with the premiums the way that they are, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, a little gambling, you know, and, and that's the way that I look at it because I like to buy at that premium, you know what I mean? That's, that's just what makes sense to me. And the gold premiums have been better, right, than the silver premiums. And that that's cool, you know. I mean, you gotta stack the way you like to stack. But it's just the fact of the matter is, I bought a lot of silver in the bear market, okay? When it wasn't popular, when no one was talking about it, when nobody wanted it, when nobody valued it. And these things, Ruck, okay? These types of events, these types of cycles, they happen, okay? They happen. Uh, the crypto cycle, that's a whole nother cycle. Uh, I'll get into that maybe in another video. But as far as gold and silver, these things happen in cycles, guys. Just remember that. I know a lot of people are so excited, right? They're just like, oh my God, it's going to go up. It's going to keep going up. And it can. It sure, it sure as hell can. And I hope it does. Okay. Yeah, I hope it does. I got a lot. Of, I got a lot of silver. <laughs> so I hope it does go up. I'm not, I'm not trying for it to go down. And I'm sure as hell not going to sell it as it's looking like it's going to go up. But seriously, this thing works in cycles. So in the cycle that you want to get into, right? You want to get in on the cycles whenever nobody's looking, whenever nobody's paying attention, right? So in a couple of years, okay, this is not a prediction. I don't do those things, but according to the cycles, okay, there's going to be opportunities to buy at a better entrance. Okay. You follow me there? If you go back and you look at histories and, and I can bore you to death with all that. I don't know if that's something that you guys like, but if you just go back in time and you just chart it out, if you just look at events, right? Just chart them out. 
Go back 30 years, okay? Do your research, right? You're putting your income into this, so you might as well research it. It happens in cycles. And with each cycle, though, you got to remember, with each cycle, there is a higher low, okay? So there's usually a higher low and there's a higher high. We've already had the higher high with gold. We have not got there with silver. So that's where the gambling part comes in. That's what I'm referring to is, yeah, you can keep buying right now. And uh, I need to get uh, a few more 2021 Silver Eagles. I got to complete my tube of the last design. So I'm gambling too. Okay, so I'm in it with you. I'm just not stacking a bunch of silver because of the fact that the premiums are so high. And I'm already buying close to that top, right? $50 silver. The Silver Eagles, the brand new ones, they're $40 a pop, guys. It's just the way it is. Even though the spot price is $27. So technically, I'm already buying near the top. That's a red flag for me. Just me personally. You guys, you know, you you're you got to make your own decision. OK, you, I know I see a lot of these videos and I'm just like, OK, they're trying to get clicks. They're trying to tell you guys to go buy it because you know what? They bought in the bear market, too. A lot of these channels out there, they bought in the bear market. It They stand to make a huge profit if they get a bunch of people excited and wanting to jump in and FOMO in and get in on this. I, I stand to make a nice profit if I wanted to cash in, but that's just not why I stack silver. That's not that's not the whole point of me. I buy it as a hedge against what I currently live on. OK, it's also an insurance. It's a way of thinking, right? It's a way of protecting my income in case I have a, a, a job loss, in case I have an emergency. That's why I stack gold and silver and Gold is my long-term hold. I'd love to give all this to my kids. I really would. I hope I don't need it for retirement. That's my ultimate goal, to give them some type of, you know, some type of incentive or some type of edge above everyone else. Because not only are they going to school, they're going to college and they're going to college and they're going to come out debt free. And that's the best gift that I can give to my kids right now. That a quality education, you need an education in the next generation. And man, I'm telling you, man, I'm so excited and I'm so pumped because I'm doing what my dad did for me. My dad, he said, hey, you know, I'm trying to set you up so that you can live better than I did. And guess what? I have achieved that. OK, so now I have to set my kids up to live better than the way I do. And that's what I'm trying to give to them in today's society. And it's tough. It's tough because college has has just you know, the prices of college have just boomed, right? So that's why I'm putting away a little bit something extra just in case it's there, just in case I need that so that I can give them that debt-free education, right? It's important. It's what's required, okay? And this is just a big insurance policy that I use personally, okay? That's what I use it for. I know a lot of people, they keep saying investment. You're making an investment. No, it's not a house, okay? It's not real estate, okay? It's just like saying I invest in a car, okay? It doesn't make sense. You're not investing in a car. It's a depreciating asset until lately when, because of the computer chip shortage, nobody can get cars. Nobody can get new cars hardly. So think about it, guys. Be careful, okay? Be careful of the pump, man. I'm telling you, be careful of the pump. Right now, you know, if you're just buying to hold it forever, that's fine because it's going to be a long-term play, okay? There's guys out there that's been stacking since 2008, 2009, and they're just now starting to get that profit back, okay? So just let that be some perspective for you. They're just now starting to get their profit back, what they put in there. So if it's an investment, it's not really a good investment. Just remember that. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. I appreciate you watching this video. It means a lot. If you do like something like this, please leave a comment down below. I will respond. And remember, be careful. There are scammers down in the comment section. I will never, ever ask you to call me. I will never ask anything of you. OK, the only thing that I ask is just leave a comment, leave a like. And if you like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Keep grinding on your stack.